Uh, well, I'm going to begin by asking, I mean, Nancy's a really kind of endearingly clumsy, quite relatable character. <laughs> I was wondering if she was someone that you felt you had a lot in common with. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I hope that I bring some part of myself to everything I do. Um, and, you know, while, <laughs> while I, you know, I'm happily married with a child, you know, I, I, I am not Nancy altogether. However, you know, I relate to her sort of sweet cynicism, you know, about and feeling fed up um, in a time where, you know, things are feeling jaded because she, you know, is having a rough go of it right now. That I, that I relate to. I definitely, you know, am on a, a YouTube clip somewhere declaring that I think marriage is an antiquated institution and that, you know, um, you know, if we died at 45, I'd understand, but we live too long and that it shouldn't be um, something we do anymore, you know. And then, of course, you know, cut to me totally jumping in hook, line, and sinker to, to getting married to my husband and being very happy. But um, I think every unromantic wants to be proved wrong. And I mean, accents and di dialects is evidently a kind of passion of yours because in a world it was something that you kind of explored. Yes. This must have been great fun being given the chance to just speak English. Yeah. In English, well, not speak English, but put in an English accent. So. <laughs> <laughs> to properly speak English. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I, absolutely. I, this was a lifelong um, career goal to, to play a fully realized British character with all the complexities and the imperfections of, of, of any other character that I would take on in, in an American dialect. So, um, you know, I wanted to be as authentic and, and um, textured as any other sort of like real London girl would be, you know, in the same way that I'm from New York and my accent, you know, like, why don't you speak, you know, like you talk like you're from New York or something, you know, like I don't have that because that's not how people from really, really, really from New York center talk. That's not how they speak, you know. So, um, you know, I wanted to take on something uh, uh, that was real. Well, I think you've done a good job. I mean, you act, I think your English accent's even better than mine, to be honest. <laughs> but what's your favorite word to say in an English accent? Um, oh, that's such a good question. Um, I don't know. Do you know what? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, that's a really good question, but I don't have an answer. I think I just enjoy it in general. I think, um, uh, I don't know. I, 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 um, God, there were so many. There were so many things that I did enjoy. That's such a good fucking question. Sorry, I can't say that. Um, that could be your favorite word in English accent. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Um, I don't know. So, I think I, I I I think in general it was just sort of like um, the the science of it. You know, Jill McCullough, my dialect coach, and I would kind of dork out to the um, you know the the musicality of the of the accent and how to um, how s s different words would sound differently as they liaise with other words and things like that at different times in the accent. And I mean. Simon Pegg is one of those people that's just kind of effortlessly funny. I, he, I used to, when I used to work in a pub, he used to come in every now and again and order just half a pint and some nuts. And even when he just said that, I just used to giggle. I, it's called funny bones. Yeah. Like people have funny bones. So like they walk into a room and you're like, ah, and it, you're like, you don't know why. <laughs> like, it, it must have made for a, a sort of good fun set to be yeah, around. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, not only is Simon hilarious and so, you know, fun to work with but also like everybody on that set was so happy to be there that it just made it collectively a great experience you know I mean Tess Morris is hilarious herself as well as you know um, Rachel Pryor another producer on the movie I mean you know we had a great we had a great team for sure I mean in a, in a world uh, was a kind of subverted kind of stereotypes and kind of cinematic tropes mm -hmm. and I think Man Up is very affectionately quite traditional of the romantic comedy genre and I was wondering if it was quite a difficult sort of line to to kind of well, yeah a line to kind of cross I guess or a sort of balance to have to, to be kind of unique and yet at the same time be quite endearingly relatable in, in, in sticking to the kind of conventions in some regards. Yeah it's so interesting you said that because I I agree with you I think that it's really classic and it's really classic and it's um, um, adhering to certain tropes within the romantic comedy genre but then it feels very modern and current and I think that it that's you know attributes to, to Ben being very aware of what kind of music to play and how to shoot it and make it the movement of it very um, fresh you know and the energy um, of the the way that the story is being told you know is very 
modern, you know. Um, but then in the same breath, you, you know, I think it, it very much leans into the romantic com comedy genre without sort of fighting it or apologizing for it. It's, 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 um, it's hopelessly romantic and hilarious and um, as those movies should be versus kind of like being the anti-romantic comedy, which is a little too cool for school. And just very quickly before I go, mm -hmm. The Emperor's Children is obviously next one you're directing. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering how far into production that is and, and what it's like directing The Dude, if you've started <laughs> yeah. directing The Dude. Well, we, we, we're in pre-production right now. Um, and, uh, you know, yes, Jeff Bridges, I mean, thus far in pre-production is the coolest person I know, um, aside from my husband. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to, to hanging out with The Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, much appreciated. You. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!